Welcome students to another in our investigating science series. Today we're in grade six and we're looking at ways of preventing soil erosion. Now this lesson will be guided by the following questions. What is soil erosion? What are the effects of soil erosion and how can we prevent soil erosion? Now, let us remind ourselves of a few key facts. Now, soil erosion really refers to removal of the top layer of the soil, all right? And generally, it is seen as a type of soil degradation. And usually, it is caused through the activity of either water flowing too fast over the soil or wind picking up the soil and moving it to another location. So, generally soil erosion, as we can see from pictures of what has happened in Jamaica when we have um, a lot of storms and flooding, is that it can lead to landslides, right? Certainly, the water that is removed from the soil can be washed into our waterways, so, so that can lead to water pollution and, of course, ultimately, to loss of lives and loss of property. So... There are some methods that we can investigate that can be used to conserve the soil. And these methods include crop rotation, contour farming, and of course, reforestation, which really means um, covering the soil. All right, and so we're gonna investigate some of these methods today. Okay, so we're gonna show you a picture. Um, we can look at them one at a time. <laughs> So for the first picture, right, you can see that um, there is an area that is beside the house that is basically um, washed away, right? Um, that soil covering is lost. And so that would represent um, what we call landslides. And this is a picture of what has happened in Jamaica, all right? Now, what is it that can result from that? Look at that um, picture. The soil is removed. It is very close to the, um, to the building, right? And so you can expect other things to happen, right? There can be damage to the buildings, yes, right? You can have persons getting um, hurt just by walking in that particular area. And of course, the soil itself can be washed away. Now, let's look at the other picture. What are you looking at? What do you see? Yes, you can see that that is actually a roadway that has been affected by soil erosion. And of course, when we have those sorts of activities, persons are unable to move from one location to another, right? Good. And so we can see that soil erosion is, um, is basically something that will affect us um, both um, in the short term and in the long term. All right. So, let's now ask ourselves, how could we reduce that effect of soil erosion? What are some of the things that we can do? And so, if we look at the picture, we can see that we have different soil conservation methods. And when we say soil conservation, we're just thinking of what can be done to protect the soil, prevent it from being washed away. So in that picture, can you identify that method? Right. That is an example of what is called contour farming. So notice that the, 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 the crops are planted following the contour of the land, right? So as we descend the slope, the, the crops are planted in that same um, arrangement. All right, let's look at another one. Now this one is similar to contour farming, but here, we may not have to use um, actual trees. We could actually use um, different um, materials to build an embankment to protect the soil and prevent it from being washed away. Do you know what that method is called? Yes, that is called terracing. So you, it, 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 it would seem as if we have built some terraces along the side of the slope, right? And so if there's any... Um, removal of soil, it is not washed too far um, down the slope, all right? And let's look at the third method. 
This method is practiced heavily in Jamaica, especially in areas of St. Elizabeth. Do you know what that method is called? Okay, that is called mulching. And so with mulching, you're basically using dried or, um, you know, some decomposed um, material, leaves, other plants, to cover the soil. And mulching, apart from preventing soil erosion, it also helps to retain the moisture in the soil. All right, so these are some methods that we can consider when we're trying to prevent soil erosion. Now, what are we going to investigate today? We're investigating, really, how plants help to protect the soil. So we're going to carry out an activity where we will demonstrate the role that plants play in protecting the soil. Okay, so what will we need for this particular activity? Let us see. So this is, that's basically just, just a picture of how we will set up our experiment or our setup here, which should mirror something like that. So we, are, we have um, plastic bottles that we have gone ahead and cut. Um, we have water or spray bottle. We have soil, of course, pair of scissors, um, some string or material to, to construct our, um, our collecting um, container right there. Some dried leaves and twigs that we have in the container and of course, or grass, all right? And so we're going to see how we can use these materials to show how the plants protect the soil, okay? So let's go and see what we can do. So what we're going to do here, and if you have your materials, or you can grab some of these materials very quickly, we're going to basically um, pour, add our, our soil to our container here. Let's see how quickly we can do this. And we're trying to add the same amount of soil, all right, to all three containers. And if possible, we want to fill it up as much as possible. And spread it out nicely. So let's say we try to do it about halfway just enough so that we can see the effect, all right? So it's a little messy, but we're working with soil, so that's expected, all right? And then we do the same thing for our other container. So you have plastic bottles around you, right? Get those plastic bottles using the same soil. And, and of course, a little later, you will tell me why I am doing that why I'm using the same soil and adding approximately the same amount, all right, to our setup right here. And this one looks... And of course, we'll do that for the third container. Oops, sorry. All right, something like that. All right, so you have your setup like that, all right? So we have <coughs> approximately equal amount of soil. Of course, if you want to be more accurate, you can actually get your balance and measure out the same mass of soil, all right? Now, what we're gonna know try to do is um, create three different scenarios. <clears throat> so we're going to have a soil that is not going to be um, covered. We're going to cover this soil with some dried leaves. If you practice a little farming at home, it's always um, good to use some of the same materials to cover your soil, something similar to the mulching that we spoke about earlier, All right? So we're covering one of our containers, one of the soil with dried leaves and so on. The other soil, we're gonna try to cover that with some grass. <clears throat> so you have grass at home. All right. 
right? And we get some more grass and cover because we're trying to cover it totally. And then we'll, we'll basically see what is the effect of covering that soil. I hope you're following. So of course it's not as, um, all right, that looks like it. Yes, right, so we have three, our three containers, they all have soil, all right? We have covered one with twigs and um, dried leaves. We have covered the other with um, <clears throat> grass. All right, then what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna try to add the same amount of water to the soil, okay? So we're gonna use our spray bottle because we don't want to, we, we, we want to mimic like it's a rain falling, right? Good? So we really don't want to just pour the water on it like that. We want to actually um, spray it on so we don't disturb the soil too much. So we're gonna start with, oh, I think I need some more water in this. Alrighty, hope this works. All right, so here we go. And so we're adding the water to the soil <coughs> and we're noting what happens <coughs> in terms of the runoff from the soil. All right, so let's hope this works. And you repeat this, this with your other containers. All right. And at some point you should see water flowing over into our cup that we have prepared, all right? Taking a while. So we have added 200 milliliters of water and we can look to see, all right, what happens to our soil and you you while we're while that is happening you should be able to note what's happening how the soil how the water that is flowing off looks okay all right just trying to get out everything all right so we would have done that with our soil by itself and of course, as you can imagine, we're now going to try the same thing with our other containers, all right? So in the meantime, you can describe, sorry, oh dear, the color of our soil, of the water that, that, that is passing through the soil, all right? And we can, we can estimate in terms of the amount that has actually been removed from the soil. Okay? All right, so let's try with our I think I'm just going to for the purpose of Feeding this along, I'll just pour it out. So if you're looking, you would certainly see so far um, that our container that was not covered, our soil that was not covered, compare the water that has come off that soil with the one that has either our twigs or our grass. Right, and we can see that there is some difference. So let's look at some of the questions we want to answer. All right, while we, all right, so our first question, we're looking at the color and appearance of the water that has come off 
um, the three different soils, well, the three different coverings of, of, of the soil, right? What do you notice about um, that particular water that has run off, right? What can you say about it? Obviously, the one that has not any covering on the soil is much, um, is brown, yes? We can actually see pieces of soil washed away in that container, all right? The other container that has our leaves, certainly, well, we, we did um, actually just pour the water on, so it moved a little faster than, than the one before. However, you can see that the color is much lighter, right? Good? So it means that this particular um, soil covering prevented a lot of the soil from being washed um, into our container. Do you see that? And so the color is really um, qu quite clear, right? We see a few pieces of, of, of um, some particles, but certainly not as much as the soil that wasn't covered. And for our soil that we have um, grass on, adding some more water there, right? We haven't seen any runoff, significant runoff as yet, but we're trying to add the same amount of water and see what happens, right? So what happens, what do you think is the role of the, the plants, or in this case, the dried leaves? What, what role do they play? So as we pour on the water, imagine rain is falling, right? The soil does not get the full impact of the force of the, the water that is falling, right? And so you're actually preventing that washing away of the soil, right? By the, the force from the water, you're preventing that, okay? And so that certainly shows us the role that plants play or any sort of um, soil covering that it plays in terms of helping to protect the soil from soil erosion. And so in this particular experiment, we're asking um, which variables were kept the same, were kept constant. So obviously we tried to have the same amount of soil using our same type of containers, adding the same amount of water and all that would, we would have changed is the type of covering. So this one had no covering, this container had leaves, and this container had grass, all right? And so the soil was washed away more in the container that was not covered. Good? Great. So let's see what we learned today. So from this particular lesson, we would have... Um, seen that soil erosion, as we know from experience, can lead to destruction of homes, property, and lives, right? And certainly plants play a vital role in protecting the soil. How do they do that? They are able to cover the soil, right? I'm slowing down the movement of water. And so by doing that, they help to reduce and in some cases, prevent soil erosion. And as we would have seen, there are many different conservation methods. We would have demonstrated something similar to mulching right here with our dried leaves. And here, we would have demonstrated the use of plants, or what we call cover crops, right? To cover the soil and hence prevent loss of soil from the top layer. That's all for today. We invite you to try these activities at home while we try to understand how science is relevant to us in our daily lives. Goodbye.